Good morning. My name is Zach Gray. I'm here from Adaptive Symbiotic Technologies. We are a biotech company based out of Seattle, Washington, and we are focused on increasing agricultural yields, the use of organic seed treatments. Our product, will go, <clears throat> our product is named BioInsure and will go to market in 2014. And BioInsure does two things. It enhances growth and development, and it also allows plants to live in stress environments, such as drought, extreme heat, and soils high in minerals such as salt. I, like many in this room, believe that the greatest threat to our food security is climate change. In 2012, we saw one of the worst droughts in farmlands throughout the Midwest. Since 2000, we've, we've had eight of the nine hottest years on record. Now, we're not the only company that's trying to solve this problem. And there's been two primary tactics used so far. The first is breeding traits from natural stress-resistant plants, or breeding traits from nat native plants, and the other's been through genetic modification. And although billions of dollars have been spilt, spent trying to come up with a solution, there's not a viable product on the market as we speak. At BioInsure, or at AST, we've taken a different approach. And it started 20 years ago when my partners were doing research at Yellowstone National Park. And they were studying, could any microbes live in the extremely hot geothermal soil? And what they came across was some plants that were actually living in it. And upon researching, or upon the, doing research on the plants, what they found was that there was the mi microbial symbionts living inside these plants. And when they removed the symbionts from the plant, the plant immediately died. So the next question became, could they take these symbionts and transfer the benefits to other seeds? Well, I wouldn't be standing here if the answer wasn't yes. <laughs> what you just witnessed behind me was BioInsure in action. This was a rice seed that grew under 24 hours of light. And there's two things that you should notice. Obviously, you're going to see a greater shoot growth. But more importantly is the roots, the primary and secondary root, and you have a much greater circumference area, which obviously allows for greater nutrition. So what kind of results have we seen? So far, we've been able to grow plants and have them survive up to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. What you're witnessing behind me is plants that have not been watered for 18 days. But more, more impressive than this picture is that we have actually been able to grow in, in the greenhouse, um, receiving equal yields um, plants while using 50% less water with the BioInsure. Thank you. As far as uh, soils with high mineral concentration, we've been able to grow in levels that are higher than uh, current seawater levels. Well, what was most pleasantly surprising was our results when we were just testing with non-stressed environments. This is a plant you're seeing behind me. This is some rice. And what we've experienced in every time and every experience that we witnessed anywhere from 10 to 50% yield increase with no stress environments. Thanks. So the question is, you guys have done this in the greenhouse. You guys have done this in small field tests. What actually happens when you take it to the field? Well, in 2012, we thought they set this up because we wanted to test this 10% theory, and it looked like a good year to do it. But as I mentioned before, in 2012 was one of the worst drought years on record. So what happened? In our test, we, had, we received 100, we were testing corn, and we got 125 bushels per acre compared to 68 bushels per acre of the control, roughly an 85% yield increase. In 2013, we have field tests going in 10 different states and two drought-specific tests, one done in Colorado and another done in California. As I mentioned before, our mission at AST is to increase agricultural yield, but also profitability for our farmers. So we've based our pricing structure around creating a 200% return on investment for our farmers. With this pricing structure, we should be able to be, be industry standard. And the industry size is extremely, extremely large, 14 billion in the US. And the three crops we're going after first, corn, soybean, and wheat, that's roughly 13 billion. The team we put together, my two uh, founding partners, are the leading experts in symbiosis. Uh, and my MBA, although it's an MBA, is from the Bainbridge Graduate Institute, so we're focused on sustainability. At AST, our approach is simple. We're using what Mother Nature has done for the last 400 years 
to secure food security for the next thousand. Thank you.